Hey guys, North Bush here. Welcome back to the channel. And today we're gonna to be talking about Star Wars actually because it was just May the fourth about two days ago. And yeah, I went to watch um Star Wars episode one again um, in the theater. And yeah, I want to talk about it because I have some interesting things to say. So if you know me, um, well maybe not. Even if you do know me, you might not know. I am a big Star Wars fan. I've done a couple of videos on Star Wars talking about things like Ahsoka, the trilogy and so on, and how things are kind of messed up and a bit iffy in general. But yeah, I went to the film, the theaters to watch Star Wars Episode 1. And it's been a while since I've watched, you know, the prequels and, you know, watched the Star Wars movie in cinema. In fact, I don't think I even watched Star Wars Episode 1 in cinema. I think I watched it on DVD at home when my dad brought home DVDs. For, for the trilogy and i am a fan of the prequels um if you don't know i love the prequels i love the sequels sequels no i love the original sequels i'm not i'm not, I'm not a fan of really at all now when, when it comes to the prequels i was re watching episode one in cinema and i actually had a really good time you know i thought it was actually a very compelling story and there was a lot of interesting things going on now you need to do understand you know some of the politics and some of the the background on Palpatine and his his dealings in the backgrounds to really understand what's going on like how he got the trade union to do what he did they did on Naboo to kind of get to kind of tie things up to get some power in the Senate to try to get you know the Naboo um uh princess or queen to push for a vote of no confidence to get follow him out so Palpatine can get come in to become senator is a senator i can't remember become a part of the senate wherever you know i am the senate all that stuff you know that, that was his push and in the end that that happened even though there were some um iffy parts on his on the way you know so not everything went to plan for him but it was very interesting and yeah it was very compelling to see Kai gon Jinn and obi-wan it was nice to see them as characters and it was nice to see anakin I mean, Jake Lloyd, I think that was his name. Jake Lloyd as a kid, I think he was a great actor. I don't know what people were talking about at the time. I don't know what to expect from a kid. But I thought he was fantastic. I, um, I think, you know, his lines were well delivered. Even though he was slaved, yeah, maybe you might say he should be more depressed. But he's a kid, you know, kids, they always try to look for the good things in life. And he, and, um, I mean, in general. And he, he was trying to have fun. He was trying to look look for the bright stuff. He understood the negatives. And he was a smart kid. He, he said some really interesting things. And asked some really interesting interesting questions and i really liked his his engagement with qui-gon and padme uh, and 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 the rest of the characters on the screen you know the pod race was cool there's some really interesting things going on um space battles are cool lightsabers are cool what darth mode's amazing like so many cool things actually in this this episode like i think it's, it's it's great overall there was only like two things i could say that i could see why people might not love that back then the one is georgia binks georgia binks was pretty annoying i won't lie i believe they should have cut down how much he spoke not how just crazy he was and how erotic and you know I, fair enough you know at the time um they thought you know he the kids needed someone to you know have fun laugh and blah 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 but I mean, I watch a lot of things in various ages, and I don't know. I didn't find Georgia funny at all. Um, I mean, so, there was sometimes I'd be like, "Oh my gosh, this guy," but it wasn't like a funny funny. It was just like, "Oh, I can't believe you did that funny." I think kids, at least growing up for myself, I think I relate more to cool things, like like impressive things. Like, "Wow, this guy looks cool." Oh my, he did some nice stuff. That's fun. I kind of gravitate more to that rather than a funny goofy character is messing up and he doesn't cause too much harm but he's just messing up comedy leave you leave i didn't re i didn't at least ever love those characters there might be some kids out there who do love those characters but i don't think jar jar really works too well i think they could have had a cooler character that filled that role in general you know just a bit less goofy i think they definitely yeah that definitely would help the movie become you know solidified in people's minds and then also the gungans i think the gungans are cool they're okay but they're not cool I thought if it was a more it was a more interesting a cooler race, I think more people would be interested in it. It definitely seemed like most of the races that get added as additions in Star Wars, they're more goofy. Not like the background ones, it's like more of the main ones, the, the main ones that aren't humanoids. They're more like goofy races, like you got the uh, the Gungans and then you got uh, Episode 6, I can't remember what they're called now. But they do de definitely aim for more like more goofy type of characters rather than more serious and i think that was the only two parts that really let low down you know the the, the show in general i also think maybe they could emphasize more on, on palpatine and mole and 
you know the plans in the backgrounds and so on and the plans for this for the sith and against the jedi because i guess it is a bit more it, it can be difficult to follow unless you really understand palpatine and his plan and you know to create the cis which is going to be in the next movie and the state of the world like maybe they could emphasize a bit more on that but I, I think it was actually a great movie. I actually really enjoyed it. I wish episode two and three were also showing in the cinema. Four to six as well. Like, I, I would have a blast, honestly. It, it would be fun. Yeah, I really, I really had a good time in cinema. It was a shame, you know. A lot of people blasted um, George Lucas back in the day. But I, I don't think it was warranted. Yeah, I, I see the, there were some faults. But I don't think it was as bad as people see. Yeah, I, I think it was fine. I actually think it was, it was good. It was great, actually. I think it was just some, some nitpicks on my side. You know, let me know what you guys think below. What, what, do, what do you think of my, my opinion? Do you think it's bad? Do you think, you know, it's, it's a trust movie regardless? Or do you like it? You know, let me know. Let's talk in, in the comments, right? See ya.